Uh, what are your thoughts around the emergence of polyamory stories in mainstream media such as Newsweek? Oh, I saw that one. Are there poly organizations that are prepared to respond to negative media depictions of poly people? Thanks. I don't know if there's a um, uh, anti-defamation league for the, the poly set. However, I think it's great. I think it's fantastic. Back in the, the 60s and the 70s when <laughs> first started to appear in things like Time Magazine, you know, with all the faces turned away and stuff like that. That was not necessarily the most positive, but you know what? Public media awareness, okay? Public media awareness. Yeah, there's um, TV shows and media discussion around all sorts of different forms of alternative sexuality. It's not always going to be flattering. It's often going to be conflicted. Uh, some of the places will be outright oh, scandal. But it's being discussed. It's being presented as an option. So that, well, you know, if some scandal happy TV show or magazine does an expose, what can you do about it if it's a magazine that does scandal on everything? Eh, whatever. However, if it's a more responsible news media, say like Newsweek or NPR, <laughs> uh, that's when intelligently written letters to the editor actually does work. Right? Actually does work. May not work immediately, but it is all about the slow tide of change. And then it becomes also our individual responsibility, whatever our sexual minority that we are, to present ourselves as decent, responsible people that people want to be friends with. Just have a little different taste. Hey, she likes habaneros, I like black pepper. She's still all right by me. Okay? So, is there, I don't know if there is a National Poly Anti-Defamation League. Um, don't know about that one. There is a, I can't think of what they're called, but if you look them up online, there is a media advocacy group that's starting to look for positive polyamorous role models who are willing to speak to the media in a positive light. Many, many years ago, anyone remember the, the head of uh, Planned Parenthood? It's quite the scandal because she was married to a man and had a girlfriend. Anyone remember that? It was a huge scandal. This was maybe 10, 15 years ago. I was like, you go, girl. <laughs> Quite the scandal, but uh, yeah, yeah. Oh, and also, if you are whatever variety of sexual minority that you are, don't turn your back on other sexual minorities. Because one day they're coming for you, next day they're coming for you. Next day they're coming for her, and then today they're going to come for you. So, her taste, his taste, your taste may not be yours, but you know what? We can all support one another and back each other up. So that means that when there's an event by this sexual minority group, show up! Give them a support! You know, if they've got some news that they want to put out, put it out to your channel. It may not be your thing, but say, hey! You squirrel dress up bondage people. <laughs> <laughs> Not my thing, but really great. So you got a you got a gathering going on, a picnic, great. Uh, you're looking for walnut bread, great. <laughs> you're doing a walnut bake sale. Fabulous. I'll put the news out on my Twitter, okay? Or whatever. You know, back up your fellow sexual minority. Cause man, when they come for you. You need everyone else. Doesn't mean you have to go shag like them. But you do know that they like a particular kind of lube. That's nice. <laughs> okay.